Still to come on ETV Action today, we'll talk Lady Tiger softball. But right now, we have a, a member of the Tiger baseball team, Kyle Lawson, who joins us here. And, and Kyle has a very unique story about how you got here at ETBU because uh, Coach Herod, Coach Herod, Coach Hood has told me he signed you at the junior college level yes, and sir. then signed you again, and now you're finally here. Kind of tell me your story about how you arrived at East Texas Baptist University to pitch for the Tigers. Uh, like you said, it has to do with Coach Hood and also uh, one of my best friends growing up, Jimmy Russo, has been here for four Four years and um, out of high school, Hood signed me at Hill Junior College. And about four weeks later, I gave him a call. Didn't get a call back. I was like, "Where'd he go?" And I found out he wasn't there anymore. And he took the assistant coaching job here. So um, I went there, and I'd been there for three years. And um, after my three years were up, I gave him a call about coming here, and he said he'd welcome me here. And Jimmy was here, and it was just a good fit for me. So I signed and uh, decided this is where I wanted to continue. What do you like about playing baseball for the Tigers right now? How easy everything is. It's, uh, it's inviting, and um, it's just a good place to play for anybody, and we're good. It's fun to play for a good team, so you can't complain about that. And um, uh, just I liked Coach Hood from the beginning, so it was, it's just the right place for me. Well, Kyle, kind of tell me your history of playing baseball. Of course, most kids, like me, start very young, but there comes a point that you decide, you know, I really am – I really want to make something out of this. And when did you start pitching and saying, you know, I maybe could pitch at the collegiate level? Um, I actually didn't start pitching until my senior year of high school. And then I tore my elbow, so I missed some time. And um, once I got here, you know, I was, I'm hitting and pitching, and the pitching's just kind of taken off. It's, it's worked so far, and I've liked doing it. And uh, I've just been lucky that it's worked, I guess. And that's basically that. You know, some players like to, especially in baseball, have routines. You know, you never step on the chalk lines. Right. You know, when you come off the field, whether position you're playing, you always touch third base or first base, which they're dug out. Do you have any special traditions that you like to do to get ready for the game? Anything that's kind of unusual? Like people go, man, why are you doing that? I don't have too many superstitions like that. We, um, we get on some guys for some stuff they do. Like as a team, we win a series, we don't shave. So that's why we all kind of look like cavemen right now. But, uh. There's that, and um, some of the guys, they wear the same pants every time. They don't, they don't wash them, you know, stuff like that, but just for good luck. But uh, for me personally, I just um, – some guys like to sit and be quiet in the corner, just be left alone, but I would rather just, like, be in the game still and um, just try to take as much pressure off anybody else as I can as well to help them out too. Any advice to a young player growing up that you want to give to them about maybe they're pitching, how to protect their arm, or, or just advice about how to become a better baseball player? Uh, as far as the arm, just like you said, just find ways to take care of it. Um, don't overdo anything. Uh, I just sometimes it just happens though, and you just sometimes you can't avoid it. But there's there's ways to get back from it. And as far as young baseball players, just have fun and keep playing, and hope it all works out. Of course, this weekend in that series against Shriner, uh, you won the series two to one. But uh, the ball seemed to be going out of the park. I guess it's an exciting time to watch your teammates pop it out of the park because you're not out there pitching. As a, as a pitcher, when you can have a team that can do that behind you, that really makes your job easy. That's nice. I mean, this team hits like any team I've never seen before. It's, it's awesome to go out there and watch. And just coming out for BP and before the games, it's fun to watch because you can see everyone's locked in and it's just they're doing what they know how to do. And it's, it is fun to watch. Kind of take me through your, your daily schedule as a student athlete. You've got class plus practice. How do you keep it all together and keep it straight and, and do well in the classroom as well on the field? Wake up early, stay up late, and get it all done in between. Um, you know, we, we spend a lot of time out there working to get better at baseball, but we can't be out there and be successful if we're not successful in the classroom first. So, it, uh, I mean, it's just you got to find time. you got to get together with everybody and um, – just make sure it all gets done and keep track with everybody. And the coaches do a good job keeping track with us and attendance checks and making sure we're going where we need to go. Kyle, final question. What would you like to say to Tiger fans about coming out and watch you play? Uh, it's, it's a good time out there. I mean, you like watching good baseball and teams win. And, I mean, we're, we're up there right now. And, I mean, I'd, I'd like, to, like, well, like to welcome anyone else out there that wants to come out there because it's, it's fun to watch. Kyle Lawson, our guest here on EV Actor. Thank you for your time thank today. You. And you just keep throwing strikes and getting those wins on the mound. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Kyle Lawson has been our guest here today. He has a little fan club out here in the Huffman Student Activities area. And all fun this afternoon here on EV Extra. Don't go away. Next on EV Extra, we'll talk Lady Tiger softball with the head coach, Janae Shirley. You're listening to EV Extra at GoETVTigers.com.